The beat-em-up is considered a tired genre, a relic of the old days using conventions that don't hold up to scrutiny when compared to the progress video games have made in the last 30 years. So of course they're not popular, right? Well, that's not what games like Scott Pilgrim, Dynasty Warriors, and Shank would tell you. All of these games, and even Double Dragon, owe a debt to the Kunio-kun series, which is celebrating its 30th anniversary with River City Tokyo Rumble on the 3DS, and honestly, it's a really great title, possibly the finest in the series. That being said, the bits and pieces that make this whole may turn you off, but I'm hoping that's not the case. Kunio is the hot-blooded tough guy of Naketsu High School in Ikebukuro protecting his ward from all manner of thugs. When one of his friends is attacked, and the culprit appears to be his own rival and buddy from nearby Shinjuku, Kunio decides to do the natural thing and beat his ass. Of course, the conspiracy is larger than two Yonki gangs, and frenemies must join forces to defeat the ambitious Lion Alliance and bring back peace to Tokyo. The narrative, despite the potentially dark concept, is kept light with jokes at the expense of the player characters, especially the giant Sukeban Misuzu, who is shown to be just like any other girl, only rowdier. The same level of characterization isn't given to any of the bad guys, save for Silver Lion, and their goals only amount to take over the city and spite Kunio. Also, there is at least one enemy who comes out of left field, unless you're familiar with the original game. This would have been fine if the original was included, like it was in Niketsu Special from 2011, but no dice here. Still, the story is overall enjoyable, and bashing heads is a simple affair once you set up your controls, with a punch, kick, and jump as your tools in the fight. Efficient use of attacks is all it takes to send fools flying, and scrolls for special attacks can be purchased from shops in each new area to add to your repertoire using money dropped by defeated goons. Throughout the story mode, you'll gain the aid of Kunio's pals, and one of them will always travel with you as you crush your enemies. Both Kunio and his three allies gain experience and level up, increasing their base stats like strength, stamina, punching, kicking, and defense. Allies that aren't active gain no experience, and you'll have to do a bit of grinding to get them caught up, but you'll be doing a lot of fighting anyway, so that isn't a difficult prospect. Besides, there are quite a few ways to keep your characters breathing, from eating at restaurants, to carrying fast food on your person for a pick-me-up in a pinch, and each character can wear up to three items of clothing to boost their stats and ensure they're fit for duty. Each new area in the story mode introduces stronger enemies, more robust clothing items, and new jobs to take on. Jobs are simple quests given by a clerk in Ikebukuro and are performed in exchange for cash or items. They're all rather simple and usually involve beating people up, but the difficulty of those fights can get rather high, with the fight against the Double Dragon Brothers providing the greatest challenge. None of this is new if you're familiar with the gameplay of River City Ransom, and the controls are easier thanks to the extra buttons on the 3DS. Pulling off crazy moves in succession is a blast, and the AI puts up a good attempt to stop them, though attempt is all they do. A couple of Kunio's techniques are also game-breaking, and learning them makes the game a cakewalk. That being said, adjusting the difficulty to something more difficult can create the edge you crave. In addition to the main game, there's also rumble and dodgeball modes that can be played alone or with a friend, through local play or using the download play feature. Defeating major enemies in the campaign unlocks them for use in these modes, which basically increases the variety of moves that can be used, especially in rumble, which feels like the Kunio-kun version of Smash Brothers. Dodgeball feels like a smoother playing Super Dodgeball from the NES, and if you've got a few friends that have 3DSs and a little time to waste, this is a good way to do it. Visually, Tokyo Rumble is a mixed bag, utilizing a mixture of NES-era sprites and polygon backgrounds that are pretty good recreations of areas from the original NES title. Arc System Works simplified the bottom screen map compared to Kunio-kun Special, and this is both good and bad. There's less areas to get lost in, but the ones that remain will have you searching for them, since the new map only points to the ward instead of a specific location. The character sprites are varied, but they're not as animated as they could be now, especially with River City Underground showcasing what can be done with such small sprites. I know, I'm nitpicking, but Kunio should have more than two frames in his running animation after 30 years. I'm not saying art should go back to making all the characters look like monkeys. I'm saying, if you're gonna mix old and new, don't just take what you bought, regurgitate it, and make a new game. At least the music is great, with modern remixes of old tunes, and a new main theme to get your blood pumping during street fights. I'm not sold on Babe being a good translation for Madoka-chan, though. Who thought that was a good idea? 
River City Tokyo Rumble is the ultimate throwback to simpler times in gameplay, while also being a good expansion of the series' mythos. While it may not be visually stunning to some, and certain additions could have made the game a more enticing package, what we have is a game with great gameplay and decent length that can satisfy those familiar with and new to the series. If you've got some extra cash in your pocket and are looking for some simple fun, you can't really go wrong with a full price purchase. Let's just hope we don't have to wait five more years for another game. Downtown Neketsu Monogatari SP is a good start. Bring that west. Anyways, what's your favorite old school or new school beat em up? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't, take some time. Like this video and others I made, and subscribe for more reviews and gameplay without the BS or fluff. You know you want to. Well, at least I want you to.